there are two biblical keys that make for kingdom advance number one is called evangelism number two is called influence micah chapter four please evangelism is very important we know that we have been greatly mentored we know how to stretch ourselves from border to border but here is the other dimension it says but in the last days Kabu shale kabu siyata, the mountain so the house of the lord is a mountain on its own and the bible says it shall be established at the top of other mountains and it shall be exalted above all the hills look at all look at the way this scripture messes with your intelligence do you flow to a mountain welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verse 130 the entrance of thy word giveth life as you listen and watch may you experience the transformative power of god's life what does it mean to advance the kingdom the bible says that the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our god and we his christ and he says that we shall reign forever and ever and so what what we have to understand the concept of kingdom advance please write if you're writing let's just do a little bible study kingdom advance refers to any and every scriptural method any and every scriptural method deployed any and every scriptural method deployed to enthrone Christ and his purposes in the hearts of men and across every strata of human activities any and every scriptural strategy deployed to enthrone Christ and his purposes first in the hearts of men and then across every strata of human activities this is what we call kingdom advance kingdom advance is not about preaching it's not about singing it's not about doing business we are at liberty within the coordinates of scripture to invent through creativity any strategy at all that can lead to the enthroning of the christ across the hearts of men and across every strata of human activities listen to me whoever is not doing this today on earth is wasting god's time the deploying the coordinate scripture is our boundary as believers so we are we are given the liberty to walk within the coordinates of scripture and through the ministry of the holy spirit our partnership with him to come up with the various ways are we together now that we can deploy a mind control system that culminates to enthroning christ first in the hearts of men you call it salvation you call it new birth but then across every strata of human activity so when the comedian our dear brother was talking and when the other one was talking and when the woman of god was worshiping in god's mind it is the same he is not interested in the unique method he is interested in the motivation and the power that sponsors it now if you do not understand this we will lose a generation <laughs> the deploying of any and every scriptural strategy scriptural provided is within the coordinates of the word to institutionalize god in the hearts of men and to spread his influence across every strata of human activities this is kingdom advance if that can happen through a church service then the church service is advancing god's kingdom if that can happen through giving birth then giving birth has now become a ministry if that can happen through singing 
then the singing has become a kingdom advancement strategy if that happens through business then the business so it is not what we do that there is a central motivation that behind everything I do, behind the creativity and the excellence and the skill, all of the labor is geared towards one goal, to see that Christ and his purposes, are we together now, are first planted in the hearts of men, and then the influence spreads across what you call the seven mountains. Please listen to me very carefully. We must educate a generation to know why we do what we do. Not just that we do it. Kingdom advance. Every church worker should know this. So while you are ushering people in and someone says, I'm not interested again, your insistence to have him come is not just to gain more membership for a church. You are motivated by a higher desire that this man may lose an opportunity to understand something about the kingdom. That becomes your basis of doing what you do very well. When you prepare and you excel as you minister, you are not just motivated by a desire to be famous. That will come. But the agenda is bigger than fame. It's too small a reason for God to invest such grace on you. Now listen very carefully. The Bible talks about two women in scripture. Call, one called Hannah and the other called Penina. Are we together now? The Bible says that Hannah could not have a child for many years. She would go to Shiloh, return back, and Penina had children. And Penina continued to communicate what looked like mockery over Hannah. Notice that Hannah continued to go to God and cry for help. But her prayer was not answered because there was no kingdom in it. God could not find a space in her desire where Christ will be glorified and his purposes. Now Hannah, paraphrasing now, went back this time around and said, Lord, I know what you are looking for. You a body, you need bodies that represent your purposes. Can my womb have the honor of bringing one of the bodies? She prayed once, only once. Listen, I have learned from scripture and by experience that the key to getting God's attention is not rolling on the ground. It is the degree to which your life aligns to kingdom come. More than fasting, more than prayer, more than Bible study, the key that causes God to invest his jealousy upon a man and stay there until you rise is the degree to which his kingdom can come through you listen very carefully I have seen that it is not difficult for God to lift the people it is not difficult for God to lift an individual the only issue is what there is nothing kingdom that is represented in our desires it is within his power to make rich it is within his power to grant a man influence. It is within his power to cause a nation and a generation to hear you. But to what degree will his purposes be represented in your pursuit? The difficulty in our Christian experience is, is, is a misrepresentation of God's potential. It looks like God is slack. It looks like God is slow. But the key is that God is vetting the purity of our desires until he finds himself there. You are not going to get his attention. You may cry. God is touched with the feelings of your infirmity, but he's only moved when he finds himself in your agenda. For your glory, I will do anything just to see you. To behold you as my King For your glory I will do anything Just to see you To behold you as my King Wanna be where 
God be where you are. God be where you are. God be where you are. Listen. Surrendering your heart is not the key to salvation. Believing the gospel and receiving his life is the key to salvation. But surrendering your life is the key to be used by God. Please understand this. The condition to be saved is not to give your heart to the Lord. It is to receive his life. But when it has to do with doing business with God, within the context of a generation, the price is death. I have said it again and again that the price for all of God is all of you. Until all of you, not your money, leave your money, leave your car, leave your skill, leave your talent. No. Until you die. It's a realm in the spirit called Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. It's a mystery. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And this life today that I live in the body, I live by the faith. I am motivated by another reality. I have lost touch of my ambitions and my desires. I have brought everything under like a woman submitting to her husband. I have become a bride and a bride indeed. His desire has become my obsession i do not seek anything for myself my desire is for him to be glorified john 17 and verse 1 jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven to pray and he made a statement that was very interesting he says father the hour has come glorify now thy son that thy son that's the formula that's the formula that if I be lifted from the earth, I will draw all men to myself. And because they cannot see me, they will see you who is the object of the sacrifice. But when they come to you, you are smart enough like an usher to redirect them. Are we together now? Pastor and his wife acted my message so beautifully here. When Pastor ushered, his wife gave her an opportunity to share a few things and she turned back and beautifully honored him. I said, this woman understands kingdom. Because you see, in theology we call it the reflection principle. Nobody can glorify himself. Your glory is invested in another and the excellence of what comes out of you is how you are glorified. Are we together now so the father cannot glorify himself his glory comes from the son the son cannot glorify himself his glory comes from the church in partnership with the holy spirit the church cannot glorify itself the glory of the church comes from its dominion over principalities and powers and creation it's a principle of shared dominion it is the son that glorifies the father it is the church that glorifies the ecclesia that glorifies the son and it is the dominion of the church over creation that is where the glory of the church is so it is important for us to understand that this call to the faith life that we call christianity is not a journey unto pain and frustration in hope that we'll hear the sound of a trumpet one day that is that is a very well-meaning but destructive ideology it is the kind of ideology that has produced the social economy that we see in africa is the kind of ideology that has been responsible for the prevailing power of darkness are we together very very important and so we must understand therefore that we are not fully carrying out what we call the great commission just because men are getting saved that is one side of the victory but is being cancelled out by the loss of the darkness that looms over a territory there are two keys to kingdom advancement write them down please number one is called evangelism number two is called influence 
there are two biblical keys that make for kingdom advance number one is called evangelism number two is called influence micah chapter four please evangelism is very important we know that we have been greatly mentored we know how to stretch ourselves from border to border but here is the other dimension it says but in the last days kabu shale kabu siyata, the mountain so the house of the lord is a mountain on its own and the bible says it shall be established at the top of other mountains and it shall be exalted above all the hills look at all look at the way this scripture messes with your intelligence do you flow to a mountain can a mountain be placed on other mountains verse 2 and how many nations many nations shall come when you want to understand this you must study solomon solomon was a man who demonstrated the power of the influence of the kingdom on the excellency of the understanding hearts that he carried solomon compelled the attention of all the kings that were within his sphere but there was a strange woman from ethiopia who would not come because gentiles don't come they come to your light but kings don't come to your light they keep watching they have light too they have results kings come only to the brightness of your rising please follow me we have something we have a serious journey to take tonight Sheba continued to hear of the hand of God upon Solomon but it was not compelling enough for her to come she kept watching the same way they are watching you and a time came when Sheba herself had to come and she came with her plenty and the Bible tells us theologically speaking for over six months she continued to tour the palace of Solomon and at the end of it the Bible says she said half of this was not told me she had no breath in her every generation will not be confused there is a generation that will get this thing yes sir i'm going to show you that generation because whoever that generation is we know that they are a chosen people they are a kingdom of priests a peculiar people a holy nation the bible says that generation you will know that generation by the signature of a body of knowledge they will access called marvelous light you know that this is a generation signified by prophecy by the depth and the degree of spiritual illumination that they have access to the bible calls it marvelous light are we together if we are together please say amen, amen. we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.